<laughs> all right, a retired Shawnee couple works hard, but seeing the smiles on kids' faces makes all their work worthwhile. Uh, Eric Schultz shows us what they're working is. It's a magnet for young girls and even girls at heart. John Hember has been doing this for 50 years. He's made a lot of furniture, like the time he made cabinets for the Gardner Fire Department. Time check, saw blades. Last fall, he became a legend. It was Halloween, and the streets were full of kids. When the trick-or-treaters got here to John and Gloria Hember's house, they saw something in the window that made them forget all about getting candy. It was Kit, Molly, Rebecca, Samantha, all of them American Girl dolls. Here they are having tea. Wave after wave of girls came inside to check them out. It was crazy. We had a whole bunch of candy left over because the kids wanted the dolls. The dolls weren't for sale, but check out the furniture. John crafts it all by hand in his basement. He has no formal connection to the American Girl doll store, but the Hembers say there's nowhere else to get this custom-made doll furniture. They call their business Beds and Threads. Initially, the idea wasn't to make a lot of money at it or anything. I started out thought, okay, if I can sell a few things, I can buy a few more pieces of equipment. He has some pretty nice equipment, and business is booming. He doesn't have sales figures, but last year during the holidays, he worked 10 to 12-hour days just to keep up with demand. Gloria does all the fabric, and last month, their great-nephew, John Patrick, came to them with an idea. And he said, what you really need is a dog house. For the doll's pets, he's capitalizing on an American craze as a way of doing his favorite hobby. Eric Schultz, NBC Action News. That is really something. The prices range from $45 to $250. You can find more information about beds and threads at NBCActionNews.com under Lifestyle. We'll be right back.